don't know if y'all have seen that viral TikTok going around this one girl talking about the hoodies that hoodie but if you haven't she posted about the reasons why some of your hoodies don't hoodie if you ever wondered why some people's hoodies they're just hoodieing let me let you in on the hoodie secret okay i feel like there's a hoodie community that knows the secret and no one is telling y'all the basic criteria for the perfect hoodie is supposed to be super boxy and the sleeves are supposed to be super wide so i'll give you an example take this sweatshirt for example so it is from guzio i've had this for a few years it looks like this so for me i would say it's almost perfect because the sleeves are a little bit small the sleeves are supposed to go down here to almost combine to like this part of the hoodie as you can see on this one it doesn't so it's almost perfect the body is super boxy so that's what makes it the perfect sweatshirt as for the cuffs they are stretchy and it's not too tight and it's not too loose either and it has a really good length because i don't want it to be like here kind of want it to be a little oversized and for the bottom of the hoodie it shouldn't be too tight it should be like a little bit loose like this if you want to crop it you're able to i just put it up and this is how it looks so ever since i saw that video on tiktok i kind of reevaluated what hoodies i have in my closet so now that i think of it um i kind of want to get some more and i hear the akamai hoodie is the epitome of the perfect hoodie but right now it's sold out and i heard it's restocking november 24th so when the time comes i'm gonna try to get my hands on it we'll see if it's the perfect hoodie It's much later and when my sister and I went to the outlet, I didn't really find anything that I really liked. We only ended up getting two t-shirts and they're not even for us, but that's okay because most of the stuff I like from Stussy, I can just get those things online. I'm pretty tired, so I'll see you tomorrow. Hi, good morning. Actually, good afternoon because it's almost 1 p.m. I got up about... 30 minutes ago and right now I'm currently about to get ready because my cousin is coming to visit and I have not seen her in about two months so it's definitely been a while. We're gonna go get brunch later and my other sister's coming too so it'll be the three of us. And while I'm getting ready, I'm watching someone make a Pinterest house on Sims 4 on YouTube so it just makes the whole getting ready process a lot more entertaining. I sometimes do not like to get ready when it's complete silence. It's just like when I'm eating, I like to watch something. So it's kind of the same with getting ready. So yeah. <laughs> I just finished getting ready and I don't have any lip products on yet so I'm going to show you what I'm using today. I've been really liking this combo. Etude House Fixing Tint in the shade Midnight Mauve. It actually got really really popular during COVID because it was transfer proof and it was mass proof. And on top of that, I used Peripera Ink Velvet 17 in Ro um, Rosy Nude. This shade is also pretty popular as well so I'm using these two today and I'm going to show you how it looks. And here's how it looks. I actually really like this combo lately. Since my makeup is so minimal, I put emphasis on my lips because naturally I do not have that much pigment. So that's why I do it. This is my everyday makeup look. It's super minimal. I'm going to be heading out. We're going to meet my cousin in a bit. So let's go.
I changed it to a t-shirt. It has been very, very hot, especially in the afternoons. And it's already November. I'm already expecting it to be cold already. I don't know why it's been so hot lately. So it's Sunday. I was out with my parents to run some errands and I have a lot of work to catch up on. So I'm gonna get started on that. And yeah, you're gonna watch me do some work right now. on this vlog right now. Um, I'm almost done with it. I just need to make a few more adjustments and make some more edits. That's all I have been doing all day. I don't know when this video is going to be up. But... So I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend vlog. Most of these clips are in my room because that's where I spend the most of the time. I mean that's just the life of working from home and not having that much of a social life. My day-to-day -day life is pretty much I wake up, I do my morning work, I eat, and then I do my afternoon work. Maybe just chill and then do some editing for work, eat dinner, and then, you know, chill, sleep, whatever night routine I do, I repeat it all over again. I feel like I haven't been really consistent because every day is pretty much the same and I feel like maybe you will get bored, even I will get bored sometimes. That's why I haven't been posting a lot as I did earlier during the year. There are some days where I actually go out and maybe go to a coffee shop and then go home afterwards. It's very uneventful. I've accepted that and that's okay and i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in my next video bye